Oh, there she is! There she is! Ah! Finally. Ah! Oh my goodness! I almost fell asleep waiting. Why are you so cool? As usual, my predictions are correct. You, yes, you, come with me. Huh? Are you some sort of door to door fortune teller? Uh -huh. Sorry, but we're not really interested. She said, What did you say? <sighs> You're not from this world, are you? <laughs> How do you know about that? I totally forgot. This is the first time we've met her. Oh my god, because we were watching the event, that's why. How? Because I'm a master of true astrology. If you've no other questions, let's be off. For starters, who are you? <sighs> Fine. I'll exercise a little patience and explain. I am astrologist Mona Magistus, but considering that it is most rude to misremember names, I allow others to call me Mona. I am on a mission from my master to retrieve a certain box from Mondstadt. It was part of an agreement she made with a friend 50 years ago. But she isn't as spry as she used to be, so now it's up to me. Not sure what getting some box back has to do with us. Why do you need us to come along? Well, that's because I would also like to take on the guardian of the box. What? My master and her friend contended in the mystic arts all their lives without a clear victor. If I triumph here, then I will show myself to be superior to my master. So basically, you want to look good. Yeah, that's what I heard. <laughs> what are you talking about? The main thing here is to use this chance to prove the power and status of astrology. All right, we all got to be honest. That outfit slays. Like, she has one of my favorite designs in this game. Now, from my predictions, I know that my master's friend has left Mondstadt, leaving her successor as the current guardian of that box. Like me, that successor must also be one who has surpassed their teacher. I must not be careless, but I would prefer to assure my victory in this contest. And upon giving it some thought, you came to mind. But I have no idea how astrology works, girl. How did she get involved in this anyway? A stink. The knowledge passed down to me from my master must be passed on in turn. If I were to bring my disciple to meet her, then the lead is already mine, no? And you are Mondstadt's great hero, my equal in status, so... Since when was I your student? What? Come on, you don't actually have to become my disciple. You just need to act the part. There's something in it for you as well, should you come with me to get that box. Let's go. Once I meet that successor and have a chance to exchange knowledge with them, I should be able to read your fate more accurately. Then I will have answers for you. Even regarding such distant and foggy matters as gods and kin. That does seem much faster than searching the land country by country. Well, I guess we'll play along. <laughs> a wise decision. That said, I would like to pay a certain place a visit before we go. Why are they always giving us back shots of her? There is All right. a small inn near Mount Tianhong that never sees a lot of business, even though its food is always great value for the money. The owner has always been good to me, so I'd like to say a farewell before I set off. Oh my god, he's he's in another quest. What? What? They know what they're doing, though. We see the back shots. They know what they're doing. There we go. Hey, I can continue the quest now. That was easy. Well, it's no wonder that an inn set up here has no business. Mona, well, you've come at just the right time. Did you see a jade ring while you made your way here? A jade ring? Can't say I have. Oh, that's not good. The ring was given to me by my mother. How could you and lose while it? my back was turned, it was swallowed up by a slime. Hmm, that should be no trouble with Mona here. She's really good at astrology. <laughs> what? Absolutely not. Astrology is meant to be used to gain insight into reality and observe destiny itself. It's certainly not for such mundane affairs. Fine. But didn't you say that the owner here has been good to you? This is a matter of pride and one state of mind. If an astrologist thinks that their arts can solve all problems, they will be forsaken by the starry ether. Their divinations will lose the power to guide, 
and will not be able to pierce the fog of the unknown before them. Principles are principles. Are you saying we can't help this guy out? It's such a powerful ability, and you don't use it to earn a living? What a shame. Right, Paimon is on to something. Uh, well, I was going to put up 20,000 more as compensation, if you were willing. That's a lot of money. Uh, 20,000? Yeah. What's with that look on your face? Oh, now she's interested. She heard money and now she wants it. Oh, uh, it's nothing. I, I was just thinking that the person who finds that ring must be lucky indeed to mm -hmm. be able to earn 20,000 mora just like that. Whatever happened to principles are principles. <clears throat> yes, of course. Still, the owner's okay. business has had it pretty hard. It must be a truly extraordinary ring to be worth spending this much more to find. It wouldn't be right for us to leave like this, so let's help to search for it. There may be other means we can employ besides astrology. Mona, that is so f Like, you literally sat here and gave us this whole spiel on how you couldn't help this guy. And now you hear money, now you want to help. Oh, Paimon knows where this is going. I know, I'll leave this one to you. Uh -oh. This is the first mission I'm giving you as your master. Excuse me? Hmm. Since it was swallowed up by a slime, and then she's gonna take the money too, ain't she? Elemental bait to lure all the nearby slimes to us. You remember the stuff we helped Master Diluc make? And <laughs> Paimon actually kept a small amount. Oh, well done, Paimon. Paimon's the very best partner, right? Yes. It seems like you already have a plan. Yes, we all love Paimon. Yep, we'll be back in a jiffy. She broke as f The elemental bait's really strong. It will attract all the slimes in the area. Even if they're just slimes, they can be dangerous together, so we best prepare ourselves. Okay, well, where's your... Where should I put the slime? Adventure time. Adventure time. <laughs> I love when Bennett says that. All right, where are the slimes at? Oh, there they are. Hi. Let me weave you a verse. Oh my god, more. I wasn't expecting more. I like Bennett's skill so much. I didn't know it was so good. Don't blink. Rain outlines your face. I need to listen to you guys more about these characters, man. To the chase. Stay put. Everybody stand back. Hey. Bennett has such good, like, support skills for me. Like, I just like this character a lot. I'm glad I built him. This is my baby boy. Found it! This must be the ring! It's so pretty. Paimon, sure it's worth a ton of... So it didn't go that far. Uh-huh. Paimon wanted to sell the ring, didn't she? So Paimon can make a ton of money. So Paimon could eat a ton of food. I see where it was going. That's it. That's the one. Oh, I thought it was lost forever. Well, we found it. You actually found it. Not bad. No thanks to you, Mona. Mr. Zhu, you must take care of such precious things a bit better. You might not be so fortunate next time. You're absolutely right. How would I have faced my family if I had lost the 253rd ring my mother gave me? Uh, ex excuse me? 253rd? What the f What you got me on this wild goose chase for? 
Oh my, that deserves triple dot dot dots. Oh, let me explain. My family owns three jade mines, and in order to ensure that I would be able to find myself a good wife, my mother had many jade accessories made as heirlooms. Y'all so rich, mother Seriously? I think there might be over 500 of them. 500? Then why would you feel the need to set up an inn here? Well, inheriting the family business too early unavoidably made things boring. Thank you, all the same. Here's the Mora. As what? Friend, please take it. This man is rich and he said, I'm bored of life. He literally got the cheat codes to life and said, bro, I'm bored. Wait, like, what? Imagine being that lucky in life. Then, then I'll take it gladly. Excuse me, Miss J Boobs Jiggle? No. But we did all the work. I did the work. Not even you, Paimon. A disciple should act like one. How can they steal their master's thunder? I never even said I'd really be your disciple. Exactly. Well, you need to start practicing now. If my rival is as smart as I think they are, they will figure you out in a heartbeat. You good? Uh, what was that rumbling sound? Ew. <laughs> oh, right. You mustn't have eaten in days. I'm very sorry. I forgot that you had no... Uh, sh <laughs> that didn't happen. Forget it. Hmm. Well, I suddenly feel that you have indeed contributed to our good fortune. I say we spend this money on treating you to a fine meal. Hey, I bet you guys can relate to this, right? Have you ever been in school, in class, right? Taking a test or something that just has the class like super quiet and your stomach rumbles during it and everyone hears it in class and like everyone starts giggling. That's the most embarrassing thing ever. If we travel north, <laughs> we'll reach the Wangshu Inn. The food it's so embarrassing. Really so let's go try it out. No need to thank me. I'm just doing as a good master should. Did she say she was treating us? Is Paimon hearing things? She's a good person. Said it for you. She's such a good person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's have ourselves a great meal. Such a great person. Taking money from this man after we earned it. Whatever. Mona's idea of a feast is a bowl of leaves. <laughs> Hi, I'm just dropping in. What's going on, Mona? Since it's Mona's treat, we can order whatever we want, right? <laughs> <laughs> of course. I am a most generous master, after all. But only if you can finish it all. Wasting food simply will not do. Excuse me, what would you like to order? Uh, golden shrimp balls? What is that? Anyways, let me get the crab. I love crab anything. Though tofu could not be a more ordinary ingredient, it and crab roe are truly a match made in heaven. She knows what's up. It's one of our specialties. Mm hmm Oh, wait, wait, wait. Salted pork soup sounds good, too. This is a favorite among our regulars. Bamboo shoots, meat, and ham are cooked together, creating a richly flavored soup. Pour a few spoonfuls into each bowl of rice you eat. Mm, you'll never get enough of it. I'm loving this. I am loving this. What are shrimp balls? These are made using large succulent shrimp wrapped in crispy fried potatoes. They have an amazing texture. Shrimp wrapped in fried potatoes? Vegetarian abalone. It's exactly what it says on the label. Abalone made from vegetarian ingredients. It's just as good as the real thing. I'll order them all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, we're on our suck leave. We're on our suck leave, baby. I'll order them all. All of them? Yeah. We only have three. No, uh, no, I'm on my suck leave. Half people? Isn't that too much food? No, it's perfect. That's not how you count it. Besides, Paimon hasn't even ordered yet. Hey, this is straight. Karma. <laughs> <clears throat> Squirrelfish, Juyu chili chicken, and Joy soup, please. 
Sure. And is there anything else you'd like to order, ma'am? I... I'd just like to ask, how much do the current dishes cost in total? Um... Around 20,000 Nora. Yes, sir. 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 20,000 Mora, Mona! Pay up! Then, uh, I'll... I'll just have some vegetarian noodles, please. What? All right. A bowl of vegetarian noodles, was it? Please wait a moment. We'll serve you shortly. Yes, sir. We're gonna be eating good tonight, boys. The food arrives, you and Paimon gorge yourselves on a feast fit for a king. about something since we started eating. I love these story quests, man. This is great. Why does she only order one dish? Is it? Because she actually doesn't have money? Can you guys believe that? She has no money. I heard that. <laughs> I said I was treating. How could I be rattled by something as mundane as Mora? Bro, we are so savage in this quest, bro. <laughs> we are so savage in this quest. An astrologist's mind is set on studying the stars. I love it. Being so easily disturbed by such banal matters would hamper my judgment. Okay. Especially the act of overly gratifying oneself using Mora. It is both vulgar... But why did she just get noodle? Why she can't eat the food either? Like she can eat the food. We have plenty of food for her. And dangerous. So not eating the dishes we ordered is also part of an astrologist's pride. Paimon doesn't get it. Yeah, me either. But it feels kind of bad that only we got to feast. Let me whip something up for you. Oh yes, we can do that. Just give us a minute. Oh, we're gonna cook her food. You don't use more to fulfill your desires. So it's fine as long as you're not buying anything, right? Let's go borrow the kitchen from the innkeeper. That's no fun. Why did we order food if we're just gonna make our own? Oh, here's uh the innkeeper. Hello. How may I help you? We'd like to borrow the kitchen here. Let's borrow the kitchen. My friend would like to eat something made by me. Ah, I see. In that case, sure. As long as you've prepared your own ingredients, feel free to use the kitchen. <laughs> Imagine. If I may. You must be well versed in the art of cooking, yes? Imagine going to the restaurant and just saying, like, can I cook the food? Like, and the, the restaurant's just like, yeah, sure. Of course, if I make it, it's delicious. <laughs> Talented indeed. Actually, I have a small suggestion to make. From your clothes, you're most likely not from around these parts. No. But since you've come to Liyue, would you like to try making Liyue-style cuisine? I have a recipe for golden crab with me. It's a UA cuisine classic. Y'all know I'm about my crab. It's crab meat. I'm about my crab. Fried, deep fried and then pan fried together with ginger and garlic. I like when that. Finally plated up. The crab seems to be lying on gold. There we go. Golden crab. Yes. <laughs> Learning a whole new dish for Mona's sake is a bit. Golden crab. Golden crab. Yeah. I'm with, I'm, I'm with her. I'm with her. I got it. I got it. Golden crab. <laughs> your skills in the kitchen this will be a cinch we're gonna make some golden crab can i make it i don't i probably don't even have the ingredients for it adventure time okay let's go. cook oh we gotta cook it my bad adventure totally forgot time. yes sir perfect perfect golden crab for mona let's take it to her Mona, I got your golden crab. There's no need to spend all that effort on me. We I'm already cooked it. Need of food. We already cooked it. You're going to eat it. I am a little hungry, but it's not a big deal. Girl, I, I cooked it, girl. You don't understand. It's cooked. Eat it. I'm giving it to you, okay? You're going to eat this. You're going to enjoy it. This aroma is... It's good, huh? Something to go with your noodles? I never thought it'd be so luxurious. Fine. Since my disciple has put in so much time and effort, I must, with great difficulty, accept. Mm. This golden crab is too delicious. I have never eaten anything this good in my life. 
Okay, we don't need to moan about it, though. <laughs> You're Mona, so I guess you do. Uh, Anyways. I mean, <clears throat> I never knew that my disciple was this skilled. As your master, I am most comforted. You say that, but you're clearly relishing the meal. I see that it's no boast to call them Liyue's delicacies. I suppose it wasn't too much to spend all this more on. Ah, it's nothing. Nothing at all. Now that we've eaten and drank our fill, we should be off. If we travel north from here, we should reach the Stone Gate, and from there, we will be within the boundaries of Mondstadt. What deep mystery shall we acquire knowledge of? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Hey, but if the meal was exactly 20,000 mora, what about the tip? What about the tip, guys? <laughs> Hold on. Did we not tip the nice waitress? She was sweet. Maybe the restaurant actually pays their... <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're doing. This is Tavat, not America. Yikes. That was tiring, but we're finally in Mondstadt. The quest to plumb the wondrous depths of knowledge is indeed arduous. Paimon's not tired. Ugh, that's because you float. Well, it doesn't look like an astrologist is all that amazing either. <laughs> that's because you have too many unrealistic fantasies about astrology. Are you also resting your feet here? Tyler. Who are you? Hi, Tyler. Oh, my brothers and I are all merchants. We just finished doing business in Liyue, and we're preparing to head back to Mondstadt. You look rather tired. The cart we hired will be coming in a while. What say you to coming along for the ride? Do I need to pay? Is the question. No need. No need. We're already heading that way anyway. I like Tyler already. There's no need. Now, shoo. Get out of our way. What? She's answering for us. Huh? I'm tired. Miss, is there something wrong? Cease your pretensions, bandit. Picking up people on the road who appear vulnerable, robbing them blind once they've gotten on the cart, and then taking them to some Archon forsaken place. Is that your deal? What are you saying? We came over here to make conversation, and this is how we're rewarded? With insults? If you don't want to get on, don't. <laughs> Crazy girl. Well then, shall I tell you now which objects you have on you that are stolen? Oh. If you have any quibbles, we can bring people to corroborate what I've said and all will come to light. If I lose, I'll pay you 20,000 mora. But if I win, then you'll be eating prison rations in Liyue Harbor tonight. How about it? If you're a real legitimate businessman, Where'd she get 20,000 mora? I thought we just spent it. You... You... You pushed it too far, brat. I don't know how you found out, but as long as we get rid of you, no one will have to know. Oh, heck nah. You will not touch her. We're here. Yeah, Fred, it's just a few bandits. You said earlier that there was nothing amazing about astrologists. Well then, this is a good time to show you what your master can do. Oh, snap. We're about to see this girl in action. Another test. Ah! Whoa. Oh, I love her evade, dude. Oh, that's broke. I'm just going to play as her right now. She is crazy. Who else has a dodge like this? Wasn't it Ayaka? I think Ayaka has like a nice, like really cool evade. Oh, I like her. I really want her now. What? How does this work? Oh, does that just stay on the field and, it's, and attack them? They take damage from it? That's kind of cool. It's a taunt? Oh, that's awesome. What's her burst? Oh, this burst! Oh, that burst! Oh, that burst! What did you think? Did that satisfy your expectations? I need her. She's on the standard banner. Your combat abilities were amazing. <laughs> Such things are elementary for an astrologist. How have I not gotten lucky enough to get her yet? Lies are worthless before astrology. Destiny and truth are written in the stars. Though it may take more time to garner the specifics, I can read the gist of a situation at a glance. 
But you did hit some bumps in the road. That's because Tavat's stars can only display the fates and truths of this world. Anything related to you becomes like a fog that even I cannot penetrate. That is why I must meet that successor. With our knowledge combined, I might be able to gain new insight into your fate. Uh, I'm not getting my hopes up. <laughs> Whatever the case, you've got everything to gain from this trip. All right, I'm rested. Let's get this journey to Mondstadt over with. <sighs> if only we had a cart. <sighs> I thought you weren't tired. <laughs> <laughs> Paimon <laughs> Oh my gosh I forgot all about this You just reminded me Because I did roll on the standard banner the other day I did a 10 pull And look at the character that I got It was G The Queen Are you ready? Don't shame your master now We're about to meet that successor Uh I can't read the stars I guess Wait, no It won't do if you have no idea at all Even if you are a fake disciple we have a rule that forbids us from teaching outsiders. But okay. I suppose. I suppose I could teach you. Nice. My astrology is based on hydromancy, and as the name suggests, I use the reflections in water bodies to observe the true starry sky. Allow me to demonstrate. Watch closely now. From the present station and movement of the stars, I see. So that successor is a young female. Knight of Favonius. Doesn't that sound like Lisa? We will meet her here presently. Well, that's all the information we need. I haven't had a chance to look at. <sighs> it seems that even basic astrology can't be grasped in one go. Never mind, I'll explain in detail later. She's here. Wow, it's you, Miss Honorary Knight. And Paimon, too. Ah! <laughs> Please hear. That's her. The successor to great knowledge. Uh, what? There must be a mistake. Successor? That's right. I am the astrologist who has plumbed the depths of the ocean of stars. Surely you have long calculated my arrival as well. An ocean of stars? What's that? Does it have fish in it? <laughs> fish? No, <laughs> don't play dumb. Is this some kind of game? <laughs> I should be the one saying that. She kills fish. I didn't get what you said at all. We're getting nowhere fast. But my predictions can't be mistaken. Well, let's make sure. Your mother's name is Alice, isn't it? That's right. Oh, so you're mommy's friend. But she's gone very far away. <sighs> my Aww. readings told me as much. But before she left, she must have imparted her mystical arts to you, surely. Mystical arts? I don't get it. Mommy only taught me to make jumpy dumpties. <laughs> so wait, her mom is well versed in like astrology and such? So Glee's mother is the friend and rival of Mona's teacher? Interesting. Yes. As well versed in astrology as she was, my master knew only astrology. Alice, on the other hand, was skilled in a great many other mystical fields. Well, Klee's so young. She knows more than so astrology. If she'd heard this deep knowledge, she might not have understood. Yes. It seems she has inherited the blood, but not the knowledge. What a miscalculation. There can be no contest like this. Ah, uh, yes. So before Alice left, did she tell you about a 50-year agreement and about a certain box? Oh, I know this one. So you're here for that box. I'll look. Wait here. Hmm. Not this one. Hmm. Hmm. Or this one. Hmm. <laughs> no, no, it's not this one either. But which one is it? Ah, I remember now. I buried it together with my new treasure at Windrise. It's a bomb again, isn't it? Wait for me. I'll be right back. I don't like where this is don't going. Just run off. Don't you need the things in your pack? I'll help her pack these things back in. You go after her. She just left all her stuff on the ground when it's raining. <sighs> Looking at how rash she is, I worry for the box. You worried about the box? I'm worried about Klee. No. That box is really important to me. If anything were to happen to it, I wouldn't be able to report back to that old crone. 
Oh my god. This reminds me. My friend sent me something. Let me see if I can show you guys. <laughs> when Klee appears, your laptop catches fire. <laughs> this is my phone. <laughs> Your phone. I can only imagine your phone. Your poor phone. Bro, I'm, I'm starting to think about that laptop. Like, was that real? You're back at last. The wait was exceedingly dull. I had intended to read a book to pass the time, but this one was just some ridiculous diary. Nothing of note in it at all. It dropped from Klee's backpack, so I thought it might contain some ancient knowledge, but... Never mind that. So, did you find the box? We did. It's in perfect shape. That's wonderful. Wait a moment. Why isn't it locked? And why is it empty? Huh? <laughs> well, it's because I borrowed this box to store my treasures. What the? Borrowed? But since you're here for the box, I took all my treasures. <laughs> out, so that's why it's empty. it to store your things then where are the original contents of the box that's what i want oh you want the thing that used to be in the box you should have said so you haven't broken it have you oh my god no it's not broken at all oh it's the book in your hand what oh my god <laughs> this so this book this diary is that hag's it's her diary from 50 years ago we're calling her a hag now the thing she wanted back after 50 years was the dark history of her youth oh, i'm finished no wonder no wonder that old woman said i should not look at it no matter what or she'd rip me to shreds um, am i in trouble huh, it was you who said you wanted the box you didn't say anything about the thing inside <laughs> I don't know anything. I oh, don't no. Say no. Wait. Um. Clee. Well, if you don't say anything, your master won't find out, will she? Impossible. I was so upset. You can see through all lies. You've seen it yourself. Oh. After having spent all my mora to come to Mondstadt, not only have I gained no knowledge, but now I can't return. How did it come to this? I feel so bad for her. That's so sad. Maybe you could forget everything in that book and then go back. If I have to look at Mona's one more time. That's uh, too difficult. And even if I wanted to stay in Mondstadt, it would be... Too expensive? Yes. I mean, no. You really have no way with words. Well, then you'll just have to go back and face your master. Stop talking about it. I I guess I'll have to. I'll just have to stay in Mondstadt temporarily. Once that old crone's reached the end of her days, I'll be free. Does that really count as temporary? But what will I do about my astrology research? No, wait. I don't even have a place to stay. About that, we can go ask Catherine at the Adventurer's Guild. Let's see if she can help. The Adventurer's Guild? Huh. Right. You can do commissions for them in exchange for... You know what I mean, don't you? That was always the plan. Oh, um, thanks. I... Never mind. It's nothing. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Okay, we didn't come for applesauce, all right? So, about Mona's background and her quandary. I see. I understand the situation. There is a magic laboratory in Mondstadt that has been sealed by some unknown person. Although we have a few specialists who could break the seal, they all have their own labs and aren't that interested in the matter. I believe that if the astrologist you mentioned can break the seal, the owner of that house wouldn't mind if she stayed there. That sounds like a nice spot. I'll take her to go have a look. All right. Then allow me to tell you where the house is. Head to the magical laboratory and check the seal. Oh, it's right here. The person who placed the seal is by no means simple. Breaking the seal by force is nigh on impossible. Interesting. I suppose it's worth using my astrology on. Let me see. 
Mm, I see. So, if you first, and then you... Oh, she did it. All right, it's open. Holy moly, that's amazing! Now we just need to go back to Catherine and you'll be able to stay here. No need, no need. You have my utmost thanks. His name is Goth? You are? Oh, I'm Goth, the owner of this house. I passed by the Adventurer's Guild a while back and Catherine told me about the matter. I never thought this troublesome seal would be dispelled so quickly. Does that mean I can stay here? <laughs> of course, of course. The facilities inside were just being left there anyway. I would be glad to have someone make use of them. Bro, imagine somebody just giving you a free house. To express my thanks, I shall rent this building to you at the lowest possible price. Oh my god. Rent? Yes, girl, rent. I didn't hear anything about rent, and I helped out, too. Uh, oh, well, yes, of course, I understand. I am most thankful to you for that. So rest assured that I will give you the best rates. Honey, this is the real life. You gotta pay rent. I... I mean... Paimon thinks Mona's misunderstood something, but... Save a little here, scrimp a little there, and you'll be fine. I guess I don't have any other choice. I'll rent this place. Great! Then we are agreed. I will go prepare the documentation. Please wait here. Thanks for your help. Also, well, I'm very sorry, but I won't be able to do what I agreed to help you with just yet. Without the necessary tools and without new knowledge, it will take me some time to see your destiny clearly. But I promise that I'll do a reading for you first thing once I'm ready. Guess you've got to keep working at it then. Yes. I don't really know what to do, but I'll do my best. Well, I think the first thing she should do is get a job. I wish you both safe travels. So she could pay that rent. As for me, I need to think of the future as well. Yeah, you do. Girl need a job. J-O-B, baby. She gonna make a living if she doesn't use astrology to make money? <laughs> hmm. Maybe we should come back and check on her once in a while. It would really be bad if she fainted from hunger in there. Yeah, that'd be messed up. We're not going to let her faint. We'll help her out. She'll be okay. Yo, that story quest was awesome, though. I like that one. The Mona one was good. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Come that racket out. I'm doing experiments here. Oh, it's you. I'm currently running some tests related to your situation. I should see some results soon, so please wait patiently. Don't worry about me fainting from hunger. In any case, I figured out a way to make some money. How? I want to know what she, what does she do to make money? I'm curious. We need to act too. I need to see her J-O-B. Hope will never die. Orale.